Okay. Konnichiwa. So, Feverish, what is the title of this chapter? The title is Jaku, Sora wo Tobu. Jack, uh, flying through the sky. Exactly. <laughs> and Project, wanna go to はい。自分に迷う、迷うりたプテラドンは、キラキラした。すると、鋭い目で、ジャックを見た。あ、そのプテラドン、came He's sparkling. Yeah. Uh, I think the sparkling is describing the eyes, even though it's a comma here. Kira kira surudoi me. Oh. So the, his eyes are sparkling and very piercing. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, he came down to the ground and with sparkly eyes, sparkly and sharp eyes, he saw Jack. Because yes. surudoi me is also sharp eyes. Very sharp. Kind of shows that Jack still intimidated by him. And um, Sydney, onigaishimasu. Boku ni doshiro to yun daro. Doshiro to. This is like kind of hard to break up if, if you just want me to tell you what I think it says. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> Boku ni so to is that is that like me boku or yes in this case this is me rather than I so to me <clears throat> in English to me do shiro oh uh, like what is it doing to me I don't know that's not no really idea. what I'm saying so to you ndaro is basically Jack is doing some translation practice. The, the, the Putra Don is trying to communicate to Jack with its very sharp, sparkly eyes. And he's like, okay, those sparkly eyes means boku ni doshiro, which is like, I believe, what should I do for you? Kind of like, but me, because I'm the one talking with boku. <laughs> so so what, what will be done to me? Or what should I do for you, do, do to you? Like, what should I, so the Putra is like, what should I do about you, about you, Jack? If that makes any sense. Okay. A anybody disagree? Any, any other ideas? Doshiro. Okay, so uh, doshiro is like what the Taranadon is thinking. <clears throat> kind of, yeah. It's like it, doshiro is like what to what it will do, kind of. What to do, like mm. hmm. It's from dosuru, if you know that dosuru, which is yeah. What what to do? But kind of turn in shiro. Uh, yeah, what will he do sense. to me? It has to think. There's a big ass dinosaur in front of them. Um, and then um, project onegashimasu. <laughs> His his uh he it seems that the Buddha Don is trying to tell him it's okay get on my back, but if I get on his back, what if I am too heavy and he's not able to fly? Perfect. Wouldn't I be too heavy? Um and um feverish on a Uh Mayo tenide, yate mite, saki no ani no koega, ki koe tayo na kiga shita. Nice. So first off, mayo mayote inaide from mayo. Uh, have you ever heard a word like maigo when we talk about children? Oh no, maigo ni natta. So maigo means like to a lost child. 
lost child. I don't know. That's a word that always like stuck with me. That there's a specific word in Japanese for lost children. My God, you know that. Um. So that's where I I learned that before I learned my yo. So yeah, me too. <laughs> so that's how I always learned my yo by going backwards that way. So my yo means like to to be lost, basically, and this has the same meaning as to hesitate. Because if you're at a loss, you're going to hesitate. That's where that、okay. kind of link comes from. So he's saying to hesitate, naide. What do you think that means? Do not hesitate. Yes. Do not hesitate. Yatte mite. What do you think that means?、Uh, just based off context, I want to say like persevere. <laughs> it it kind of means that. I want to say like just do it if you remember that meme. Uh, <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> yeah, Shia LaBeouf. Just do it. But yeah, don't hesitate.、Uh, don't hesitate.、Um, do it. But specifically, try doing it. Basically, demite. Then we have saki, which is a time phrase. What does saki mean?、Uh, I'm gonna guess right now. <laughs> That's a good guess, but it doesn't mean that. That'd be ima. <sighs> saki means a little bit ago. Uh. Or、okay. earlier, so we basically know this probably happened earlier today during this book. So earlier, Annie no koe, she said, "Miyote nai de, yatte mite." What does Annie no koe mean?、Uh, I believe it's like Annie's voice. It is Annie's voice. So Jack, he kind of kikoi tad、um, Annie's no. Annie's voice in the past. What does "kikoita" mean?、Uh, I think it means like to hear. Yeah. So、like、he kind he of.、Heard. Yeah. So he heard the voice of Annie from earlier today, like a little echo in his head, going, "Don't hesitate, just do it."、Um, however, instead of saying he just heard this, it was "yona kigasta." You have any idea how that changes the meaning slightly? Uh. <laughs> so Yona adds like the vagueness to things, and so he does kigasta.、Okay. So he had like a vague feeling. Yeah. So he had like a he. That's basically what it is. He had a feeling. He felt that Annie's voice from earlier. He could hear it almost. Is what they're saying. Kigasta means like to feel, and、oh. yo. So exactly. So yeah, he felt like he heard Annie's voice from earlier saying. Don't hesitate. Just do it. And project. Oni ga shimasu. Hai. Sayre no soru so wa mosugu, mosugu soko made, soko made tematte kite iru. Oki na oki na ha ga kirari girari o hikatta. Um, the sayre no soru is the about to. Catch up to them,、uh, and his big teeth are sparkling. Exactly, and feverish. On a guy's mouth. Yes,、uh, <laughs> Yoshi, my yo ten nide, ya ten mi yo. Oh, I just saw my yo ten nide. Yep, that was actually、uh, your last line you translated. See if you can remember. <laughs> Uh, I think it's like,、uh, don't give up. Close. Don't hesitate. My <laughs> yote nai de.、Oh, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Okay. And then、uh, just do it. <laughs> just do it. As you can see right here, we have the miyo right here. This is right here where we talked about earlier about vo vocational form. Here's it being actually used, and it's where the name came from. Saying like, let do it. Versus, then、oh. you should do it. So over here was more ordering. She was telling Annie was telling Jack to do something. Here, Jack is telling himself, "Okay, don't hesitate. Just do it. I'll do it, or let's do it." So that right there is that yol we were talking about earlier. That confused me because <laughs> it looks similar to something else. <laughs> okay.、Uh, and what does yosh mean? I don't know if you said that. Yosh. Oh yeah, I think it's like. 
uh, all right. Or, all know. right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. And um, Sydney, what do you guys know? Jacku, there are no don no senakani yoji no bori kubini shigami tsuita. Um. Okay, so we're talking about a senaka. You know what a senaka means? Uh, like your stature, your um. It's not really like... stature. It's more just the back itself. Because the stature is more <clears throat> like oh. your height, right? That'd be your set. Your set is your back. So senaka, when it's your back middle, they're they're talking about your back in general. So ni, okay. so toward this jaku wa yoji nobori. Most important part, of course, is the noboru. What does noboru mean? Uh, to I'm like to board or to <laughs> to what? Like to get on. Yes, to get on. Like to board, like board a plane. Oh, board. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. So then we added yoji to nobori. Oh, oh that's noboru. Sorry. Uh, noboru is to climb up on. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think My bad. they have similar kanji or not. I don't know. To to get on, to climb up. But yeah, noboru is more upward motion. Uh, oh yeah, nori has totally different kanji. Uh, so yeah. we have yoji here to describing how Jack came up. Do you think <clears> he just like, wah, jumped up like Mario? Or how do you think he climbed up? <laughs> <laughs> this, this, um, uh, he, climbed, he climbed with his hands. Yeah, he kind of... The English word is like to kind of clamber up or to scale. But yeah, using your hands is another good way of doing it. He kind of he kind of struggles a little bit. To claw one's way up. Okay. And then because, you know, the Putaradong is going to start flying. So toward the Putaradong's kuchi, Jack is going to shigami tsuku. What do you think that means? Uh, the, the, the cling? Yep, to cling. So, yep, so Jack, he clambers up onto the back of the Putteradon and clings to its neck. Safety first, after all. Um, feverish. Onigashima. Hi. Putteranodon gahashiri dashita. So, like, he ran, like, to the Putteradon? <laughs> Um, oh, sorry, it I'm doesn't have any direction here. As far as I know, dasu tends to mean <clears throat> like to start, but it's kind of like a aggressive start versus like hajimeru. Hajimeru is like ha hajimaru. Those ones are kind of more just, it starts in general. This tends to be like, Fua! you do the verb, that's it. This kind of <laughs> modifies verb to be to start doing, but it tends to be like, Kind of like okay. explosion of doing it, I guess, if you want to like to compare it between the two. But so yeah, the pterodon oh, so... begins to run. Okay, so it's not Jack, it's the pterodon that's running. Yes. Pterodon ga. Well, theoretically, <laughs> wa just means the topic. So there could be possibly a way to do something else there. Um, Project. Onigashimasu. He spread his wire wings. I don't know what karada ga fuarito means. You definitely know karada. You might just be confused with it doesn't yeah, have a I know kanji. Karada. karada is body. Body yep. ga. I don't know what. what. So. Furari is just a sound effect. It doesn't really add anything. So we're going to chu. Do you know uchu? Like uchu jean lived in uchu. <laughs> okay. So okay. yeah. Yeah. So uchu jean alien uchu earth. So chu comes from that meaning basically upper air area above basically. So in the air, the put the dong. You know, it flapped its wings, and now its body is. Mm -hmm. What happened to its body? We have toward the air. It, it levitated? Yep. Uita <laughs> means to levitate. So it's saying it kind of like starts kind of fuari, very lightly. 
levitating, <laughs> which is a funny way to describe it. Um, and this is a big sentence, but Sydney, Gambaro. Right. Hajime, Migini, Hidarini, Okiku, Yurete, Jakua, Aya, Ayaun, Ayaku, Otisoni, Nataka. Teranodon wa suguni baransu wo torimo doshi sora takaku mayagata. Nice. So first we have hmm. hajime. This is a time phrase. What does that mean? Uh, at the beginning. Yep. At the beginning, the putradon, well, it, in the air, is go, doing yurete. You have any idea what yurete means? Like uh, flowing around, like. Not really. It kind of more means like shaking. Shaking. Okay. Kind of. Though maybe in this context you could translate it as kind of flowing around, but it's very, but it's kind of very, very aggressively. Okiku. It is kind of shaking in the migi direction shaking and then Shaking left and right. Yes. So this has caused jaku. To um, otiso ni natta. What does that mean? Uh, like almost fall off. <laughs> exactly, to almost fall off. And to describe this as ayaoku. Yeah, what so is, that's you know, almost. It's... Yep, almost. But just the so is like, asaka is like about it to seems fall like. off. Seems like, seems like he's about to fall off, so you're right. Um, and then. The putradan suguni, everything's daijobu, baramsu o torimodosu. What does that mean? Uh, the teradan, uh, soon, uh, uh, like returns to balance. Yes, that's a good way of putting it, or like regains balance or that. He takes balance to himself, he <clears throat> sorts right. himself out, regain and balance. Then he goes, Sora taku mariagatta. What does that mean? Um, flies, starts to soar, fly, uh, like soar high into the sky. Yep, perfect. And um, feverish, onigashimasu. Yes, uh, shita wo miruto. Teranos, oh yeah, teranos Ga uh Sorani Mukate Kuchi wo uh is that a U like it's like gu and then Yeah another U. Gua. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh so Guato uh no Guato Aketeda. <laughs> what does Gua mean? I'm not it's sure. It's a sound effect. That. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Sound I effect. guess like the, the mouth made like a, a, a gua sound. <laughs> oh, that. What he's doing though is akete. Okay, so it's like rising. Mm, that's akete, or... <laughs> I think. <laughs> akete. Uh, uh, akete, like, the opposite is tojiru, if you know that word. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just wanting to get the kanji for you. Akeru, kuk, and tojiru. Both have these little gate cut. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so to shut or close. <laughs> yep, tojiru is the close, and akeru is the yaku, the opposite. So it means to have you open. So what does the T-Rex open? Uh, yeah, he opens his mouth. Mm -hmm, and goes, gua. <laughs> Looks like gua. <laughs> Um, and where does he open his mouth? Uh, seems like like somewhere in the sky. He kind of faces I'm the sky sure and opens his mouth. To. So kind of like what I drew in this picture, you know, because he could have just okay. opened his mouth and went go wow, like this, you know, he could have kept it uh, horizontal. But he's facing the sky where where Jack went, you know, Jack with his little dinosaur. He's like, wow. 
Um, so right here we have Shito Miruto. Who is doing this part? I think that's a jack. Yep. What did Jack do? He like saw down below. Yep. So this right here is just describing what Jack saw. So Jack looked below and he saw the T-Rex with its mouth wide open to the, to the sky and was like, wah, nom, <laughs> nom, nom. <laughs> um, and we're going to stop here so that we end on a nice page. So, oops. Cool.